guys, anyways, Brian's second face of the day. Again. Hi, guys. But the video did not get downloaded. I mean, it got downloaded, but it did not upload. So that was something major that I'm really sad about. And I'm redoing the video. I just made a video before this. Anyways, we had some major complications. We're going to make sure this video is actually good for you. So you want to have a balance of micronutrients, macronutrients, macronutrients, and vitamins. Make sure that getting out to the side gets to the gas range. That's one track. Make sure that there's not this dense blockage. When there's this dense blockage, the micronutrients, macronutrients, macronutrients, and vitamins can only be half digested. We have to witness constipation, inflammations, and bloating at this point. It's not something good you want to have, especially with bad di digestion. You have constipation, inflammation, and bloating. When you have this dense blockage of polyunsaturated fats, saturated fats, who's high in cholesterol, of protein dense, of carbohydrate, dense and protein rich and dense foods it piles upon each other the, the, the dense foods piles upon each other and guess what it does it makes so the micronutrients 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 and vitamins cannot pass through that so they get have digested so they can't even be broken down process they're synthesized because they haven't been fully digested because there's this dense blockage of fats of saturated fats polyunsaturated fats of lipids foods high in cholesterol of protein dense and carbohydrate dense foods, we have to rely on soluble fiber, soluble fiber, and probiotics to break that dense blockage. So the micronutrients, 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 and vitamins can be fully digested. They do not get half digested. We can avoid constipation, inflammations, and bloating. It's not something good, as I can tell you from my experience with it. It's not something good that you want to have. That's why I'm making this certain video about this, anyways, because I know I'm really sorry for not making a video for you guys. It leaves me at the end of the day because I had this video. My plans just, they, they were wrecked. So, micronutrients, 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 and vitamins get down to the stop because the gastrointestinal tract and they get fully digested. You don't have the sense blockage. So, they get fully digested, you have good digestion, and they can be broken down, processed, synthesized. And because of the broken down, process synthesized, the thing that happens is that energy is released. And for, the thing is that catabolism is totally reliant on anabolism. The functions of metabolism, process of metabolism, work together. So, we have to understand the science of the body. If you want answers, as you, I, as I would say, your basal metabolic rate is something crucial for your basal metabolic rate to require the amount of metabolites. And when you have a low amount of metabolites, you usually have a low metabolism, not as efficient, strong, or as fast. And your carbohydrate sensitive, empty calorie sensitive. When you eat these foods, you cannot burn off. And because of that, you're, you're not burning off and utilizing energy. You're just storing it as fat, more body composition that you do not need. So we go from that. We go from, and I'm going to be talking about this too, but it's metabolites are crucial and, and are critical in any in the growth of reproduction, development of muscle fiber, simple complex, small to large, more of a simple structure to more of a complex structure. A low capacity growth to a higher capacity growth, muscle fiber to recruitment. We have more muscle tone, we have more vascularity, we have more muscular hypertrophy. We usually have a high met metabolism at that point too because the metabolites aren't stunted and the muscle fibers aren't stunted either from growing and reproduc reproducing and developing further. So we go from that, we go from a metabolism that's low, that's carbohydrate sensitive, empty calorie sensitive, that stores it rather as fat, you get down to a hypotonic state, a caloric deficit where you burn the fat, whether it's, it's through intermediate fasting, waiting a longer time, you adjusting what time you eat, getting this kind of clock so when you have the calories at that time and you burn the fat, but you have the calories just at that time rather than eating all at once. And it's just changing. You can do it like breakfast to dinner. You skip lunch. Lunch to breakfast. It's something simple that many people do not understand. Whether it's through cutting the portion. And this is something that I've had many experiences with. It was... It's very good, again, for get down to a caloric deficit and burning off that fat. So you can reset the metabolism. Your metabolism, the function of the process, so they do happen. Hypotonic say hypochloric say you have less calories and you burn the fat. Gradually increase your caloric intake and foods high nutrition value. Bargain foods, even at that. So you can get to a point where you're carbohydrate sensitive, empty calorie sensitive, to a point where you're making a little amount of metabolites to many metabolites being made because the metabolism functions and processes of the metabolism is happening and you burn the fat, you utilize the energy, digest more, burn off, you utilize the energy, and keep making more metabolites from that point on. But this is constipation, inflammation, and bloating. So I, I want to go by the science of the body. Go back to science of the body. So we, so anyways, we're going to speed this up for you like Sonic fast. I mean Flash fast because Flash is, is faster than Sonic. Anyways, let's, let's, let's speed this up for you. Let's go to like a speed run. But if you usually have 
no blood circulation at all. Now the heart is its job to regulate blood vessels, but there's this fat blockage and that's deteriorating the body cells and muscle tissue because it covers the muscle mass and yours and the body cells and muscle tissue. So it breaks down, it deteriorates, so we have more fat. We have muscular atrophy where the muscle mass is lost. We have more fat coming in. So we have little to no blood circulation. It's not something good. Blood vessels are major on um, point are the only thing that can supply deliver oxygen to the body cells and muscle tissue so you do not deteriorate. So it's something major. And if we're talking about antioxidant, hell. Are you serious? Okay, we're gonna pull it out right now. What's an antioxidant? Well usually a substance as vitamin A or vitamin E that prevents, protects the body's cells, the body's cells and muscle tissue from the damaging effects of oxidation that does break down the body cells and muscle tissue and that does deteriorate it. But we're going to more of a constipation, inflammation, and bloating kind of look on this. So we get down into a caloric deficit. We burn the fat, increase your basal metabolic rate with foods high in treasure value. You can get to a point where you're carbohydrate sensitive and you're empty calorie sensitive where you cannot burn off and store as fat to where you can burn off and utilize the energy, keep burning off, utilize the energy, and increase your caloric intake with foods high in treasure value with bog and food. So you can have a high metabolism and you can digest more food, burn off, utilize the energy, and be making more metabolic. It's, it's only a measure that you guys need to understand. And it's crucial in aiming the growth of production, development of muscle fiber, similar for complex, small to large, more of a low capacity growth to a higher capacity growth. More of a complex structure. Muscle fiber type 2 recruitment, which has more muscle muscular hypertrophy, and it has more vascularity too, even at that. But you usually have a high metabolism too, because of the metabolites aren't stunted. And again, when the metabolites aren't stunted, you get your metabolism up to a point, but because of that, it cannot further progress. So that's that's really bad again, stunting your metabolism. Same the amount of vascularity, stunting your muscle tone, stunting. Muscular hypertrophy too, usually by, by overtraining that takes a toll on the body. This video is not going to be about overtraining, but I want to go back to the size of the body. It's crucial, and as I talk about all the time on this, I have meal plans over this. I have a website over this that I haven't been on, sadly. Yeah, so get the micronutrients, micronutrients, minerals, and vitamins that you need. You know, then do the esophagus to the gastrointestinal tract. This is the point we have to pay attention. This is the science behind the body. It gets down to the esophagus, which is right here. It gets down to the gastrointestinal tract, which goes. But right here, we don't have that dense blockage. When we have that dense blockage, the food is half digested. It's not fully digested. We do not have good digestion. We have this dense blockage of lipids, polyunsaturated fats, saturated fats, and protein dense, protein rich, carbohydrate dense, carbohydrate rich foods, which makes it impossible. So it gets half digested. It doesn't get fully digested. So it cannot be broken down, processed, or synthesized. Energy cannot be released and returned. And because of this, your basal metabolic rate can require the amount of energy to make metabolic. So you usually have little amount of metabolic to be made when the functions of the of the metabolism do not even serve itself. So it's simply measure you guys in your understand. You have good blood circulation. You're treating your body well. And this is constipation and bloating inflammation it puts a toll on your body what do i mean by that is that a whole lot of whole lot of pain is going to come from this this is why i make i want to make this video i mean i i used to this is why everything i talk about on this show it was the opposite for me i mean yeah i was like constipated all the time. you know some bright give me some briars ice cream some chocolate ice cream man yeah didn't did not go well i mean it was so hard for it to come out i mean Constipation was really, really bad. I'm just joking right now. Anyways, it's a good time to see you guys. Brian Sick Fans for today. Uh, you know, I, I just want to say I love you guys. No matter what video, if if it comes to it, no matter what video gets deleted, just know, guys, that it, it doesn't stop you. I mean, sure, there's some it's some anger. There's some minor problems with not uploading the video that I was already uploading. It doesn't matter. It, it can be redone. I don't have to go crazy about it, whatever, because, I mean, it's something that I love to do. It's something that I love to spend time to talk about. And the micronutrients, 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 environments, you don't have to do the stuff, get to the track, and then you get your lion and cell fiber when there's dense blockage, you have to lie and cell fiber, cell fiber, and probiotics to break the dense blockage so it can be fully digested. And laxatives, I know, there's, there's been some talk about laxatives. I was like, I was slipping through the channels at home. And it was like, oh my god, this is this is unnatural laxative. Laxatives are not natural. As, as we can, as we can tell, it takes a while 
to for the gastrointestinal tract to fully digest food and for it to be broken down process and size when we rush these processes they can never even happen efficient enough so that's the thing that laxatives are doing we need the natural stuff in salva fiber salva fiber probiotics found in fruit found in vegetables found in oats found in whole wheat products found probiotics found in milk found in dairy found in yogurt we found it in rice and the, again the it, it goes it goes on for a while the amount and salva fiber and salva fiber that we can find usually through vegetables usually from fruits usually from grains too and from oats usually from bread too and not even just that I mean we have rice we have medley grains we have okay we have nuts too we have seeds too which again they're high in phytosterols which are fibrous and protein rich so that's a good source of fiber to find and go going along with oats going along with probiotics i mean it's, the selection goes on that's why i'm making a video separately for that we don't want conservation we don't have inflammation it's bloating don't want that i mean this is this is the truth the whole truth what you really want if you're, you're damaging your body Seriously, just for the excitement of food. And I'm going to eat a McDonald's Happy Meal because I feel like it. And it's not healthy at all. Because Brian Sick of Fitness does not tell me to do it. 